Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is AP Physics Essentials, video 133. It's on the second law of thermodynamics. First law relates to energy and how it can neither be created nor destroyed, but the second law relates to entropy. What is entropy? It's a measure of the amount of disorder in a process. And so if you watch the word entropy, I'm increasing entropy of entropy. In other words, I'm increasing the disorder. And it's much more likely that it is to fall apart than all those pieces were to spontaneously come back together again. So the second law of thermodynamics relates to processes that can either be reversible or irreversible. Reversible means they can go either way and the amount of entropy won't change. But in an irreversible process, the amount of entropy will increase over time. Now entropy is a state function. That means it's just measured at one point or one state in time. It measures disorder, other alternative definitions. It's the lack of energy to do work. Um, and so a way to think of it is increasing chaos of the system or its organization of the system. The nice thing about AP physics is you don't have to quantify entropy. You just have to know its quality, in other words, what it is. In a closed system, the amount of entropy will never decrease. It always increases over time. And if we think of the whole universe, the universe entropy of the universe is going to increase over time as well. Now that's kind of a, a vague concept. What does it mean to increase the entropy of the universe? Let me give you some solid examples. And so I have two videos here, video A and B. Let me start playing them. They're both the same video, but one is played in the forward direction and one is played in the reverse direction. And so you, can you figure out which one is forward and which one is reverse? It's hard to tell. Um, if I remember right, A is actually played in the forward direction. So we can think of this as a reversible process. It's just as likely to happen in the A direction as it is in the B direction. But let me show you another video. Can you figure out which one of these is played in the forward and which one is played in the reverse? Well, you've probably never seen B as a video. You don't see milk spontaneously move outside of a cup. So you know A is in the direction. Now we're dealing with an irreversible process. It's totally probable to happen in the A direction, but it's statistically improbable, if not impossible, to happen in the B direction. Let's watch this. This is another one. So which one of these is in the forward direction? Well, B now is in the forward direction. And so now we're getting at what it is to be an irreversible process. In other words, in an irreversible process, and I'm just tugging on the block in the bottom, it's moving in that direction. Now could the reverse occur? Perhaps, but it's gonna be statistically improbable for it to occur. So now we've got an irreversible process. What's gonna to happen to the entropy? It's going to increase over time. And sometimes you'll hear it referred to entropy as time zero. It's going to move in the direction of time in an irreversible process. So let me give you an example of that. On the left we have gas molecules in a container. On the right we have those same gas molecules in a container. So which do you think took place first? Which of these is early and which is later in time? Well the right answer is going to be like that. It's going to become more disordered in time. So what you can do is just draw the arrow of time and then entropy is just going to be in that same exact direction. And so the second law of thermodynamics says in a closed system, a system isolated from its surroundings, entropy will never decrease. In other words, entropy is going to increase over time. In other words, in a closed system, as time advances, entropy is going to advance as well. But this might seem counterintuitive. How could I make something like this video and this computer? They seem to have a huge amount of order. They don't seem to be chaotic as well. And so it seems like time and entropy in this case are reversed. Over time, we have something that's more complex. Well, you have to step back again. And remember what I said very carefully. Entropy never decreases, but that's in a closed system. This computer and this video are not a closed system. I made them more ordered by making the surroundings less ordered. And that leads into this whole idea that over time, entropy is going to increase in the environment. And so did you learn to connect qualitatively the second law of thermodynamics and the state function of entropy? I hope so, and I hope that was helpful.